my name is Iwei, the full name, and uh, so I was graduated from New York University Music Therapy Program. We have an aphasia group going on in the main hospital twice a week, and we have we usually would have three to five regular group members, and what we do is uh, we usually start the group with some vocal exercise and then everyone would pick up song to sing um, and then we will have some um, verbal interactions going on in the group. The sing-song type of speaking um, it really helps the, uh, the with the tapping together. Um, it helps to activate your brain to retrieve the words that you are looking for when you are talking to other people. Oh, my name is Ellie Recht. Um, I graduated from Emory in 2012 with a psychology degree. I wrote a letter to IMNF and asked them if I could intern and that's how I got here. Um, I'm the research assistant, so what I do is I sit in the sessions with them and I observe them and I take notes and I'll mark certain improvements, um, I'll you know, make observations on what things sort of help them, what, what things are causing them to not improve, things like that. You know, are they plateauing um, you know, in their improvement? And I sort of, um, a more systematic thing that I do is I, um, I, I measure their speech based on a few different variables, so like, how well do they initiate their speech, how well do they articulate, how clear is, are the words that they're speaking, um, do they understand what is being spoken to them, and things like that. So afterwards, after you know our, our 12 session uh, cycles, I'll go on, on SPSS on the computer and plug in all the data and write down all my observations and make a graph and see whether they're you know, improving in these aspects or not, and how we can better help them. In this group, a uh, little over, up. I started last summer. I've learned to talk more, so I can talk now. Wow. Being in the, uh, I, I can, have a bigger vocabulary, Great. so it's very been very helpful. My name is Paul Bartel. I've been let's say about two months. I benefited a lot because when I first came out, I wasn't able to talk, but now I can talk much better. It, you know, it, it gives them tools that they need. Like if someone has Parkinson's, and they can walk better. If somebody has aphasia, they can speak better. So it, you know, it allows them to, to live a productive life. And I've also seen through my observations with the aphasia patients that, you know, music can actually enhance their ability to speak and, you know, more so than that, bigger picture, like ability to interact in, in society again and feel confident. My name is Reva Agdell and I am Shirley's older daughter. My mom participates in a lot of music therapy and that's great because when she first came she said she wants to do everything but mostly she wanted to be sure that she did music. The wellness with Benedictine. Thank you. And she also started off with the gospel choir on Fridays and Susan Berkowitz's Thursday group. I know that she loves Sunday afternoon live music whenever I can get here. There you go. Simple. Shirley Adel. I need one. I feel like 16. She feels like yeah. <laughs> About two years I've been here. But I love music, that's why I participate. I used to play the piano, but I would play the guitar. It's a bit of life! Life! Yes! Beautiful. It's me happy! Yes! It made me happy! What does that mean to you in a little bit more detail? 
what the camera wants, camera to, know. wants to know. Life music birds. Music for birds. Music for trees. For everything. Music is life. 